welcome. I'd like to share some great exercises for you to give you that firm, well-defined jawline and neck. As we get older, things start to change. So our focus is going to be on specific muscles within the facial and neck area. So let's get right to the nuts and bolts. I'm going to perform three of each of these exercises. I'm gonna do them along with you. The ideal goal is to do at least one set of 10 to 12 repetitions of each exercise. But you'll notice when we are done, you are gonna feel a big difference. So let's start out with a sagging chin exercise. This is that old double chin or that sagging chin. And if you're sitting down, you can put your elbows on a desk and take your fist and put it underneath your jaw like this. Or if you're standing up, just take your fist, put it underneath your chin. And you're going to open your mouth with resistance of your fists pushing up. And by doing so like this, you'll resist about five seconds. These muscles all underneath that jaw area are gonna contract. Let's do three of them. Are you ready? Push up and open your mouth as you resist like this. Hold it five seconds and relax. Push down with your jaw, resist with your fist. Five seconds and relax. One more time, come on. Push open your jaw, push up with your fist. Five seconds, excellent. Now here's another great one for the jawline called the chin up exercise. We bring the chin out and bring the lower lip up towards the ceiling. So it'll be like this, out and up. We'll hold it there about five to seven seconds. Each one of those, we'll do three of them. Let's go, put your hands, your fingers underneath the jaw on the neck area, you'll feel those muscles constrict, you'll feel them contract, and you'll know that you're really working these muscles really well. Okay, just put it here so you, as you do it, you'll understand more of what's happening in here. Jaw forward, lip straight up. Good. Feel those muscles con contract under, under the jaw area in the neck. Hold it up towards the ceiling, lift that lower lip up, and relax. Jaw forward as far as you can, lip up. Good. Excellent. One more. Jaw forward, lip straight up to the ceiling. Up, hold it. Feel those muscles contract in the, in the neck area, on the jaw. Excellent. Now this one's gonna work all kinds of muscles around the facial and jaw area. It's called the OE exercise. Try not to allow your teeth to touch You'll open your mouth as wide as you can. And as you open your mouth wide, you'll say, O-E, O-E. But we're gonna kind of pronounce it, make it a little bit longer. Let's do three of them. You'll feel all these muscles contract. The wider you open up your mouth, the better. Let's go. O-E, O-E. I know you may look funny, it's okay. One more, O-E. The idea is not to have your teeth touch and to open your mouth as wide as possible. Now we have to kiss the ceiling. Not really, but we're gonna pretend. What we do here is we're going to pucker our lips as far as we can as we're kissing, but while doing so, we need to look up at the ceiling. And while doing so, all these muscles are gonna con contract, and this is a really great exercise. Let's do three of them, ready? As we pucker, lift up, and kiss the ceiling, hold it there about three, four seconds. Let's go. Really pucker. Come back, look up, pucker again, kiss that ceiling. Pucker as far as you can. Out, come back, look up, do it again. Feel these muscles contract. Great, you'll feel a lot of the muscles around the mouth area really contract as well. Now, how many of you can touch your nose with your tongue? I'm sure a few of you can, I can't. But this is how we do the exercise. You're gonna stick your tongue out and try to touch your nose. You're going to work lots of muscles. You're gonna be surprised. Let's go. Stick your tongue out, try to touch your nose. Hold it there about three or four seconds. Let's go. Mm -mm. Good. Put your fingers under the chin area, feel those muscles contract. Let's go. 
Good. They start to hurt. One more time. Good. That's a tough one because we are really bringing lots of muscles together to perform that action. Now here is a great tongue twister exercise. You'll take your tongue, push it up against your hard palate. Keep your tongue behind your upper teeth. When you push it firmly up against the hard palate, we're going to hum. And by humming, we're activating many muscles under the jawline area. You'll feel those muscles contract. We're using many muscles. Push your tongue up against the hard palate. Keep it behind your top front teeth. As you push up firmly, we'll hum about three to four seconds. We'll do three sets. Let's go. Push up again, nice and firmly push up. Hum. And one more. Push up. Hum. And just doing three repetitions, you're going to feel those muscles start to ache a little bit because we're activating many of them. Now, because our tongue is such a strong muscle, let's go ahead and curl it so we can really isolate all those muscles underneath the bottom part of that tongue. So as you stick your tongue out, you're going to roll it like this. So stick it out and roll your tongue together and hold it there three seconds. Let's go. And I know it hurts. Push it out. Let's roll it. And one more time. Come on. Excellent. And lastly, we're going to end up with the scoop and we're going to bring our chin down and scoop forward as if you're scooping water up. So you're going to start out with your bottom lip over your lower teeth like this. And when you bring your head down, you're going to close your mouth and scoop as if you're scooping water. This is what it will look like. You start out like this and you close your mouth as you scoop as your head goes forward. So it'll be like this. You go down, scoop forward and come up. You can put your fingers under your jaw area. You can feel all those muscles contract and work. This is really good, but try to do it slow. Bottom lip over your lower teeth, head down. As you go forward, you'll close your lips together and scoop forward and go all the way up. Let's do it again. One more time. And those muscles will really isolate. They will contract, particularly as you're putting it through active range of motion, which is a great healer when it comes down to firming up those muscles. Now, here are my final words. So you can make these exercises a success. You must have a well-balanced, clean diet. Cut out those sugars, it's inflammatory. Watch out for those excessive bad sun rays because that will affect your skin. Get your fruits and vegetables, your vitamin C, all those good phytonutrients that's going to keep your collagen levels nice and high, which is gonna make your skin look much more beautiful. Get your sleep, cut out the stress, drink lots of water, that's so important. Just start taking better care of yourself and all of these things will come together and you will get those great results. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.